Hey, Doug Upsall here for Doc's Sports and today's Memorial Day. Yeah, so happy Memorial Day to you. Okay, it's a uh, day to honor those who have served our country. And so, um, br tra bringing out the red, white, and blue just for that purpose today. Now, I know this doesn't uh, isn't for everybody's red, white, and blue, but it's the only one I got. Okay, so that's what I'm going with. So, but to honor uh, t to all the heroes uh, that have done their part to give us our freedom, I, we salute you. And um, go, go on from there. Hey, we've got, uh, got things to do today. Free play, and I'm not going to take a lot of your time uh, from a uh, promotional standpoint. We're going to just get right into the action. I'm just going to let you know that real quick that I have a uh, Major League Baseball play, just one, today going. It starts at 1 o'clock and uh, on a nice 29-12 and 12 run. And in the NHL, I got the Game 7 winner. Okay, so simple as that. So let's get right to it today. Uh, Dylan Bund Bundy of the Los Angeles Angels uh, feels like he's probably back in Baltimore. Um, after he only uh, gave up three uh, runs, three earned runs or fewer in five of his first six starts, in which he picked, pitched six innings, okay, in, in uh, all of those games, he, uh, he's got nothing to show for it. 0-5, okay? Uh, so with that, I think he's just, eh, I don't know. I think he's caved in, okay? Maybe that's not the proper thing to say, but maybe the better way to put it, he has more mentally checked out than physically checked out in his recent last three starts. He's been tattooed for 17 runs in his past three starts, and those starts have only covered nine and two-thirds innings, okay? Rough stuff. Johnny Cueto is going to pitch today for San Francisco in their battle against the Angels today. And Cueto is part of the a, uh, a large group of uh, senior citizens for San Francisco, senior citizens in the fact that there are so many other guys are in their 30s, okay, and most teams when they're in their 30s, they're on the, on the decline, but not San Francisco. They just took three out of four at Dodger Stadium, okay, after getting swept the weekend before at home. So that's darn impressive. Now, Cueto, you know, his fastball is nowhere near where it used to be, okay, uh, where it was, what, even probably five, six years ago. But, you know, he is very deceptive with motion, comes at you with different arm angles and changes speeds. And with today's hitters always swinging for home runs, he can really keep those guys off balance. And when he gets in jams, he has the guile and experience to get out of these types of problems. So for free picks, I also take note that the total is eight and a half. And it's hard to overlook the fact that Cueto and the Giants are nine and two when the total is eight and a half to ten the last or this season, excuse me, uh, this season, excuse me, the last two seasons. My fault on that. Last two seasons. At the same time, San Francisco absolutely loves these day games. They're on a 15 and five run in daytime baseball. I think they take care of business. So let's take the San Francisco Giants minus the 145 over the Los Angeles Angels. Okay, so there's that. And then today's other play from the wise guys is that they won their play on Saturday with the Bruins and they come back with the Kansas City Royals today. So quick and easy today on Memorial Day. I want you to be part of get all of your activities in and not have to sit here and watch a video all day. So this is Doug Upstone. I hope you have a fantastic Memorial Day. I plan to once I get done having to write articles until but we're going to be back for sure tomorrow. So uh, check out the Docs page, the Doug Upstone page, Doc Sports. Otherwise, you know what? I'm out of here and I'm out.